Hi guys! Does anyone else's fridge look like mine? Cluttered and a mess? I am so embarrassed to be showing you this, but in today's video, I'm going to show you how I fix that. I updated and added organization to our small apartment fridge for under $15. It can be done and you don't have to go and buy those expensive fridge organizers. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos to come. So I found this container at the dollar store and I thought that it would be perfect for canned drinks and the little fruit pouches and applesauce. It contains them nicely and makes it easy to get to them without being messy. We keep that on the top shelf with all of our milk and juice, coffee creamer, and the Poland Spring water. Moving on to the second shelf, I have three baskets from the dollar store that are amazing. They have handles, they're easy to pull in and out. In this basket, we have cheese, and I have just labeled it cheese. We have American cheese, shredded cheese, ricotta cheese, extra cheese sticks. I just use regular paper and fishing line for the tags. In this, I have removed all of the fruit from the packaging and placed it into Ziploc bags. And in the third basket, I have separated the fruit into snack-sized pouches. So it makes it easy for my son to get in and out if he wants a snack. I have cut up some nectarines so that I don't have to worry about cutting it if he'd like some. Um, I have extra cheese sticks in there. If he wants to go in, he can pick his own snack out. I think that's super convenient and super handy. And I highly recommend going to your dollar store and picking up these baskets because they are amazing. They can be easily wiped out. The labels can be swapped in and out. So moving on to the final shelf, I have found this amazing vinyl shelf liner at the dollar store and it is perfect for the bottom of the fridge. I think the print is cute and it's easy to wipe down. I have three baskets down here. One contains salad mix that I pre-made and found this idea from at home with Nikki. I think that it's a super cute idea. I just need the mason jars like she had. I keep extra eggs and margarine in the back. I also have a bin for veggies and this bin is pretty filled. I have removed all of the vegetables from their packaging and put them into Ziploc baggies just because it looks nicer and it's easier to get in and out than the packaging that is already ripped open and probably falling apart. So we have some carrots and snow peas and peppers for the week in there. There's also some ginger root for a recipe that I'll be doing this week. I have my son's juice boxes out of the packaging and in this cute red basket and it's easy for him to see how many he has left. He can just go and grab one because they're at the bottom. That's why I put them so low so he can go in there and get it himself. So moving on to my marinade and meat drawer. So I have two steaks marinating today and I have some bacon down there. So anything that can leak, I will keep in this drawer and as well as chicken that needs to be broken down to go into the fridge. In this drawer, I just have extra parsley that didn't fit into the fridge, but I have lined both of these drawers with the shelf liner so that in case anything leaks in the bottom, it, I can just remove it, wash it out and put it back in. I think this is a perfect spot for meat because it can tend to make the fridge a little bit gross if it ends up leaking. So let's look at before. Here is the inside of the fridge. It was cluttered. It was chaos. I had just went food shopping and food was everywhere. No organization and it was just a mess. After I did the organization, everything has a place and for us that's key. I have found that giving each thing its home. I am more likely to put those things away. I am so happy with the way the inside of the fridge looks. Let's now go to the door. So here's an overview of our fridge door. I used the same shelf liners to line all of these shelves and I think that it looks amazing. It makes it look clean but it also gives it an updated look and it doesn't look as boring as just normal white. This acrylic egg holder is the only thing not from the dollar store. I found it at Aldi's and it was $4.49. It's sturdy, it has a lid, 
and it looks so amazing. It was definitely worth the price and if you have one near you I would suggest going to find them because these can be pretty pricey but it was a great deal and it looks amazing. So on the top shelf of the fridge door I have pork roll and coffee. I have lined the butter holder with the same vinyl lining. We have our eggs and some herbs. We keep our bread on this shelf. I think it's a perfect spot for it. I have Pillsbury Grand Cinnamon Buns. These are delicious. We like to have those. Pillsbury Pizza Crust, which we'll be making homemade pizza. I'm pretty excited about that. And some extra cinnamon buns back there. On the bottom shelf, I kept all of the condiments the same. I have half and half soy sauce, mustard, uh, chocolate syrup, jelly, mayo, lemon, and lime. A1 ketchup all of the condiments that you need it does look a little bit crowded but for the most part everything has a place and like I said before that is really important for me and my family trying to keep us organized if something has a place I'm more prone to put it back in that place so that's the door I think that it looks great the lining really helps to keep it clean and keep it looking classic and most important it's easy for me to wipe down and clean Look at this before, how sad is this refrigerator? But now look at the after. Everything looks so much cleaner and everything looks like it has a place. The liners definitely brighten up the fridge and give it a totally new look. It does not look like your typical apartment refrigerator. So here's my complete apartment fridge makeover. They tend to be a little bit smaller, but I feel like I have utilized the space that I have by grouping all of our things together, labeling them, containing them, and making it easy to find and see what we have. Our vegetables won't go bad, our fruits won't go bad because we can see what we have on a daily basis. By using the liners, I have saved myself time so I won't have to clean up yucky messes and I have really brightened it up and made it look more custom to my family than just your average typical apartment refrigerator. So in our freezer I have a container that is for meats and on the other side I have all of our frozen chicken nuggets, ice cream, corn dogs, things of that nature. I really can't organize this because it's so small it's hard to do anything. I normally just take what I can out of the packages and then just stack things on top of each other. I really should get a deep freezer, but just the space is an issue on where I'm going to put it, so I try to jam pack as much as I can into the freezer um, at once because we do food shop every two weeks. There's a good amount of food when we come home, so I'm always trying to stuff stuff, trying to stuff things into the freezer. But for the most part, it's just small and chaotic, but I do break down the meats and I freeze those in Ziploc baggies, as you can see on the left-hand side. And the freeze pops at the top and just the things, they go all the way back. So here's a quick overview of our tiny, tiny freezer. So that is how I organized our small apartment refrigerator for under $15. Each of the baskets were a dollar from the Dollar Tree and the most expensive thing was the egg holder which was $5. With just a few baskets from the Dollar Tree, the vinyl shelf liners and the egg organizer, I have updated the look of our fridge to suit our family's needs. We didn't have to go out and spend a ton of money, but most of all, we took our boring apartment refrigerator and made it suit our family. Our everything has a place so that when we put things away, we will know exactly where to put it. So what do you guys think of the way I organized our fridge? I would love to hear any other suggestions in the comments below. How did you organize your fridge? I would love to hear that as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll have more pictures of the fridge on my blog. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of those links are down below. Most of all, I would love if you subscribed for more videos to come. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys are having a great day. How we transition from one child to two children. This time can be so stressful for moms. We don't know how our kid is going to do, but I'm going to share a few things that we did that really helped.